All right, this question we should definitely think about strategically. So first, you might want to draw your little rectangle. A rectangle has a width of x units and, uh, or sorry, length of x units and, let's do it this way, length of x units, width of x minus 15 units. Uh, the rectangle is an area of 76 square units. So we could set up an equation where we do, okay, the area is length times width. So in this case, that's 76 is equal to x times x minus 15. And this is not that hard to solve. In fact, we actually had a question like this earlier in the test. Um, we would distribute, we would move the things over, get it equal to zero, factor, all that stuff. It's all good. But this question is only four answers. It's not of grid in. It's not a free response question. So we can just try different values of x. And out of habit, I always try b first because it's in the middle. And if it's wrong, I can go up or down pretty easily. But, you know, let's see. Let's see what happens. So if I tried choice b, my rectangle is no longer x by x minus 15. It's 19 and 19 minus 15 is four. So four times 19. Well, good thing I have a calculator. I don't know my 19 times tables. 19 times four is 76, which is what it should be because they told me the area was 76. So that's just it, I'm done. I guessed and checked my way to that answer. And I think that was way easier than the algebra. So look, if you did the algebra and you did it confidently, you probably wouldn't lose a ton of time. But notice that the potential trap in choice A, right, where four was one of our dimensions, but it wasn't the dimension that like we kind of plugged in, right? It wasn't the X, it was just part of the rectangle. So if you solve this algebraically, there's a chance that you might not have kind of made that connection because that four is going to appear in your answers. So um, you got to be careful of that kind of stuff. And whenever possible, it's really a good idea to avoid algebra. It's usually uh, riskier. And so if we can avoid it by just doing a little guess and check, all the better, much more likely we don't mess up and we get the right answer.